friends in this video we are going to watch clear lens extraction with intraocular lens implantation the patient is a young lady of 20 she has been explained about all the pros and cons of clear lens extraction with intraocular lens implantation option of fake eye well was given contact lens she doesn't want to continue anymore elastic is contraindicated in this case so after explaining all the pros and cons of fake eye well and clear lens extraction the patient opted for clear lens extraction and intraocular lens implantation we have started the surgery the main incision has been made one side port also has been made on the left side of the main incision now capsulorexis the capsulorexis is being done with the help of a uh, ureta forceps my plan is to get a rexis of about 5.5 millimeter in diameter because the patient is young and in this case fibrosis of the anterior capsular rim is likely to occur and there is a risk of capsular phimosis so I wanted to keep the size of the rexis on the larger side about 5.5 millimeter hydro dissection has been done very mild amount of hydro dissection and now some more visco and now we just have to use a bit of vacuum and aspirate the lens mass we don't have to use any ultrasonic energy in this case so here goes the FACO proof with bevel down and with 400 millimeter of mercury vacuum and 40 fluorite the lens mass is aspirated I didn't want to try aspiration of cortex by the FACO probe itself in this case I want to employ a safer way because the patient is very young and patient is highly myopic this eye has myopia of minus 20 diopter and the intraocular lens that we have selected in this case is 4.5 diopter plus 4.5 diopter cortex is being cleaned we have selected a multi-piece intraocular lens because the haptics support the equator of the capsular bags better the haptics of the multi-piece intraocular lenses support the equator of the capsular bay bag much more in a much better way than the single piece intraocular lenses. The cartridge that I'm going to use will not go through this 2.8 millimeter wound, so enlarge the wound to about 3.1 millimeter. Now, here goes the cartridge and the lenses the leading haptic is going into the capsular bag this is sensor multi-piece intraocular lens and now this is the trailing haptic it has gone over the iris I tried to place the haptic in the bag but it has gone in the sulcus and now it is going to be difficult with the Sinsky hook if I had a side port on the right side it would have been easier but when I use the main wound see this instrument this Y pusher you can press the haptic optic junction posteriorly in a much better way than the Sinsky hook and the trailing haptic has gone into the capsular bag and now we have 
to clean the visco very nicely. In this case, we have explained to the patient that clear lens extraction and intraocular lens implantation will rob her of accommodative power. She will not be able to accommodate. What we suggested is uh, either fake eye valve which she could not afford and the complications of fake eye valve she didn't like. So we told her that we will keep this eye 1.5 diopter myopic and she will be able to do most of the work without any aspects but for better vision for distance as well as for near she will have to use a spectacle either bifocal or progressive multifocal spectacle so she opted for spect probably progressive multifocal she will check However, explaining all the pros and cons of fake eye veil, the patient chose this option, fake clear lens extraction and intraocular lens implantation. However, we have explained to the patient that she has to undergo a regular follow-up for retinal examination. I have suggested six monthly retinal checkup to detect any peripheral retinal degeneration and retinal holes and if it is detected prophylactic treatment for the retinal holes. We have also explained to the patient about the signs and symptoms of retinal traction like floaters and flashes and the patient was convinced that this clear lens extraction with intraocular lens implantation was a better option for her considering the financial strength of the family. After cleaning visco, the surgery is done. Check the integrity of the wounds. There should not be any leakage. It is not there. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to do clear lens extraction and intraocular lens implantation for those patients who cannot afford fake eye will and who cannot undergo LASIK surgery.